the new updated Chaser 4 just came out, but I've been using the beta for several months now, so I'm going to show you about seven of my favorite new tools, features, updates, and effects from Chaser 4, available at hybridconstructs.com. This is not a paid advertisement, we're just friends. Suck it, haters. That's why I'm here, actually. I just like helping my friends out. So I'm gonna help him out by telling you, my other friends, about Chaser 4 and why it's so dope. And if you're a real friend of the channel and you're watching this video within the first two days of it coming out, Yoris and I have a special gift for you. Free gift to say thank you. More on that in just a minute. First, I wanna show you some new stuff. And stick around because I saved some of my favorites for last. Let's start out by opening up Chaser 4. We can see that the UI got a little bit of a facelift and some things work a little bit differently. The first major change is unlimited sequences. Previous versions of Chaser had a set of 16 sequences. That was it. Couldn't change it, couldn't add more. Chaser 4 allows unlimited sequences. Just add as many as you need or desire using the plus button here and go to town. Speaking of sequences, I like to keep all of my sequences the same length generally, but that means I'm always dragging the whip to copy and paste steps to fill out the rest of the slots in the sequence. But I was talking to Yoris during the development of Chaser 4 and he decided to make this easier for me and for you too. These new repeat, ping pong, and clear buttons make filling or clearing your sequences faster than ever. I love these little buttons. I use them all the time. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot more exciting features to talk about. And I haven't forgotten about our special gift. I promise we'll talk about that in just a second right after. The next feature I want to highlight is views. The stage slice list from previous versions has been replaced by the views tab. At first it looks kind of the same, it's just a list of all of your screens and slices. And you can show and hide them from view on the stage. But you can now add multiple views, name them, and show and hide slices to create different groupings that you can then use inside Resolume to include or exclude slices from the different chaser effects. Gone are the days of using one of your sequences to store these groupings or just using random steps from your sequences to try to restrict your effects. Now it is a workflow, not a workaround. Speaking of effects, what I am most excited about with this update, there are two amazing new effects and a couple of them have gotten some slick new updates. Before we start talking about those, it's time for the gift. As a thank you for supporting my channel and for supporting developers like Yoris who create tools for our community, Yoris is gifting you a free extra effect called Wipe. This is a full screen, triggerable, gradient wipe effect that is completely separate from Chaser. So no purchase necessary. This is just a thank you, but it does pair really well with some of the new Chaser effects and it works nicely with stage flow as well. It's just a fun little accent to add to your shows and it is only for viewers of my channel who are watching this video within the first two days. So click on that link in the description fast, don't miss it, and be sure to check out Chaser4 at hybridconstructs.com and check out all of Yoris's other incredible tools while you're there. Hybridconstructs.com be sure to leave a comment saying thank you to Yoris for this free gift. Okay, back to Chaser and its new effects. The first new effect is called Wiper. This is a really great addition to the Chaser lineup. Wiper creates gradient wipes that flow through your sequences. 
It's a really cool, smooth, dynamic alternative to the flashy, traditional chase. You just choose a sequence, animate the step, adjust the length, and whether the next steps should overlap. A shorter length with some overlap will allow you to get multiple gradients flowing. Uh, then you can use flip direction, odd even, or swap direction to get things flowing how you want. Next up is Outliner, which you may already be familiar with. It was a source that came with previous versions of Chaser. But now it is also an effect. This means that you can stack it to create some interesting new possibilities. We can also demonstrate a use for views here. Your views show up here at the top and can be used to limit your effect to certain groups of slices. By stacking our outliner effect and using separate views, we can combine outliner effects to create some really cool combinations. Outliner also got some new features. The Aorus gave in and gave us a color picker, which some of you might be excited about, but the big news is animation. Just chuck that on and animate the phase, and you've got animated outline tracers. Bumping up the fan adds a slight sequential phase offset to neighboring slices, and and randomize adds a random phase offset. Adjust the length and count to create more lines and dial in the look. And use odd even and flip direction to get those outlinings spinning just right. And finally, my favorite new effect in the Chaser 4 lineup, Delayer. It's like slice delay except it's good and it works. Delayer adds a delay to your content that flows through your chase patterns. So if you have some beat driven content or you're chopping content to the beat, you get this really cool effect of chasing your content through the slices of the screen. You just choose beat seconds or frames, set your duration, and have fun. So pick up Chaser 4 from hybridconstructs.com. There's a link down in the description. Check out all the new toys and let me know in the comments what your favorite new feature is. Thanks for watching. Peace.